<laughs> These are out on the uh, information table out front. Uh, and there's a, a smaller sheet on your desk, uh, on your table that says into the word and has uh, some, has, has some, uh, uh, some selection from Luke chapter 5 on it. We're into this series, Into the Word, and I want you to just think about this just for a second before we go with any more, any more discussion, which we will. You have the awesome potential of experiencing the mind of God. Now, have you ever sat down with somebody you care about and really had one of those moments where you talk... Uh, Y'all were really nice, and on my birthday, uh, gave me a gift certificate to the um, to the cheesecake factory, for which I love thee. <laughs> and uh, so Monday, knowing that the birth was imminent and even at the door, my wife and I went on date night and went to the cheesecake factory and uh, helped me try to gain more weight so I could empathize with my pregnant wife. <laughs> she lost hers much more quickly. <laughs> but it was great because um, we sat and talked. No kids, no toddler, can I get an amen? amen. Face, I know, isn't it great? Face to face, and we finally got past all the talking about everybody else and the kids and talked about life a little bit. And I went, wow, now I remember why I got married. <laughs> this is cool. Because I got into her heart. I got into her mind. Just a little bit. And she into mine. We shared life. Now, I want you to imagine what it would be like to be in the mind of God. What would it be like to be in the mind of God? What the stuff that He thinks and feels, the stuff that He's passionate about, the stuff that makes Him excited. What would it be like to be able to connect with God that way? It's right here. This is it. My friends, read this book. Not because you have to. Not because it's going to make you a better person. Not because you're a good Christian if you read this book. But because you've already been saved. And wow, you have that hunger for Jesus. Read this book. My friends, let me be honest with you for just a second. We are not at New Year's. But this is my New Year's resolution for you here. Read. Read. I ain't talking about just the Bible. I'm just talking about reading. Pick up a book and read. You know, John, you lay tile. You're good at laying tile from what I've heard. You haven't done my house yet. I'm a little bitter. But I've heard you do really, really good work laying tile. How'd you get that way? How'd you learn to lay tile? You still keep improving your mind on what you do. We're talking about life, man. We're talking about life. Feed your mind. I've said this morning, I said to Sarah during first service, I think I may start on the webpage of, uh, a reading list. I don't think it'll be anything like Oprah's reading list, but <laughs> <laughs> recommended reading, man. Expand your mind, you know? We, we, it's too easy to get atrophy, brain atrophy. You know what atrophy is? That's when you don't use a muscle, it goes into nothing. Your brain does the same thing. Read, people. And I don't care. If you're not a reader, read a book. I mean, read like a storybook, like a clean, healthy Christian novel. I don't care. Start reading, and then hopefully you'll be like, well, I need something more, and fill your mind up a little bit. There's great stuff out there about God and about life, and how are you going to improve and expand your mind if you don't start reading? Read. It's great. If you don't like it, you're reading the wrong books. But... This one comes first. Read this thing. Because it's the mind of God. 
I, mean, I wish that I, how many wish that you, know, you could be Peter for a day and hang out with Jesus? Yeah, I'm just going to kick it with Jesus for a day, watch him do some miracles, hang out with him, maybe hand out some food because I want to see it multiply, that'd be cool. That would be awesome, right? You get to in this book, and not only that, the more you're into this book, the more you hear the Spirit of God speaking to you, the more you will experience that every day of your life. Read this book. Amen. Okay, change and stuff. Let's get down to the sermon. <laughs> you thought that was the sermon, didn't you? <laughs> Two for one. 